what's going on? This is B from Kongs R Us and Mrs. Kongs R Us. Happy Sunday fun day. This is our been a while since we've done a casual Sunday stream oh, where no. we actually eat something live, live on YouTube. We were doing in the first iterations of this chill and chat Sunday mornings. Do you miss those Sunday mornings where we used to wake up around 6 or 7.30 Pacific and for 8.30 a.m. show? Do you miss those days? Not at all. No? You were drinking a lot, a lot during those shows early love, on? I do love drinking. Yeah? But what are we drinking tonight? We are drinking. Mm -hmm. So from our local brewery, mm -hmm. I got me some um, oatmeal stout. Mm -hmm. This is an actual cast ale. So what's awesome about it is like English, unlike most like um, other breweries, is they don't do yeah. a tap with a keg. This is actual cast. Nice. So what they have to do is they have to pump. 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 Got my Stella. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And we just have a 19K Fox raid. Oh my goodness. People that are coming here from the 19K Fox Thank stream. You. Thank you so much. Hope you guys were checking it out earlier today. Always some great presentations from that Foxy man. Cheers, cheers. Happy mm -hmm. Sunday, everybody. Mm -hmm. So today's topic for those that are hanging out and just chilling on this fine Sunday. Um, there's been this like weird popular food trend that's been happening lately. And Especially during COVID, yeah. Yeah, I didn't understand it at all. So explain to me where the premise of eating snails and noodles came from. So like during before COVID, there was like a little <laughs> town in um, China that specialized in snail noodles. Mm -hmm. They basically take the river snails, yeah, um, boil it up, make a broth, yeah. mm -hmm. and then now it's really popular, especially during like lockdown COVID. Yeah. It's awesome because these noodles are chewy. Mm -hmm. They're wonderful. Um, in Mandarin, they're called lu, lu zhi fun. Okay. Yeah, lu zhi fun. And like, this is actually a really popular brand. Um, happy, happy snail. Sna happy snails. For you happy snails. So these are actual snail noodles. Like real snails are in this? Real, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They boiled it down to get the snail <laughs> essence. Yes. Okay. So there's snail. So these have been called the world's stinkiest noodles. They are the world's stinkiest. But like, what do you mean by like, stinky? Like a little like pungent. pungent. Yeah, it's def. I can smell the spice in it. Okay, I so think if nothing else, it's more like the pickle vegetables yeah. that's making it very snails pungent. with chocolate milk. Is this like escargot? Uh, no, it's better yeah. than escargot. Escargot uh. is like covered in like <laughs> butter and breadcrumbs. This is like yeah. snail in itself. I like what MG says. He says that either you have a uh, tiny hands or that's a huge can. I know. Look at her can compared to my can. Cheers. 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 That's a growler. So she's going to town. But I know. We have a lot of... I, I, I had my mm hind -hmm. but Yeah. Thank you so much for Fox and us over here. He said tonight that Mrs. Kong was going to kill you live. She might with this snail noodle thing because it's extra spicy. And what did you buy? I, I don't know. We might. What did some, you buy? We might do some confessions later on if, if the chat still loves that. Thank you for the love of the Transformer shirt. It's my Mega Man uh, Transformer shirt. That, that was like the second call out to your shirt today. <laughs> so, uh, Console Kids was asking, is this from the Frozen section? No, it's no. not. It's actually from like the Insta Noodle section. Yeah. And it has a lot of like pickled. Stuff. There's so much stuff in here. So, you guys ready to see what this looks like? Take a bite. All right. Essence of Snails is exactly what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> here's exactly what it looks like. So, this is a completed, um, uh, this is also cooked. Two times hot sauce. Snail noodles with hot sauce. Look how spicy that looks. It's like it's bright red. red. There's some crunchy. What is this on the top? This is bean curds. Bean curds. Crunchy bean curds. And see, these are the rice know. noodles that are a little bit like chewy. And where's the snail flavor come from? Is it in the broth? It's in the broth. It's in the broth portion of it. Okay, so these are steaming, piping hot. There's also like a lot of side pickles. So there's like these bamboo shoots. Right? Bamboo shoots, yeah. These are bamboo shoots. These yeah. are um tofu, Tof dry tofu, dry tofu. There's oh, peanuts, peanuts in here. This is this everything comes in that giant package, and this has become mushroom. yeah like a huge trend for people eating these snail noodles. Mm -hmm. So I put a link just in case people were interested. If you wanted to try it on your own, it's not the same brand because it's actually hard to find these. Like, where did you get these from? So our lovely brother-in-law, yeah, Mr. Sketch, help me. Yeah. Get some from Northern California and ship it down to you. Mm -hmm. All right. Even in Southern California, it's really hard to find. Very capital Canton, Jesus, is black bean and snails. Is that true? Cantonese? Oh. 
all right? It's a growler over the face, all right? So <laughs> you can neither confirm nor deny Mrs. Kong's. There you go. You look to look relatively relaxed tonight. B looks rested. We, we did have a really I, relaxing I did have weekend. a nap midday today, um, mm -hmm. so that was really nice. We took a nice little um, ride around uh, our neighborhood, so that was nice. But uh, most importantly for me, I feel Sundays are great because I play in a basketball league. For those that I know, I'm a little bit older. I have my grades coming out, but I can still ball with the best of them on the on the the league. And so we started a, a basketball league, and it's been a while since we've had a W. We were 0 and 2 this season, and um, actually played and played pretty well. We got that first W. So anytime you win, and it's a it's a fun league that keeps stats and things. Um, so yeah, we won our first game. Had a great, great team effort, and so that kind of like set me up for the day. So I feel. Fantastic. I feel really great about that. Why are you that. not having these noodles? I know. I'm just kind of get through chat really fast. Is this pho or this a ramen bowl? So, like, how would you compare it to, like, pho or ramen? Um, It's, like, thick pho noodles. Mm -hmm. Chewy. Uh -huh. Not ramen. It's not yeah. made with a bone broth. Yeah. So it's snail broth. All right. I'm going to, I got to try this for a second while you check the chat for a little bit. So okay. he says that it looks like Fritos. It does look like Fritos, actually. Okay. Is this super spicy? Am I going to die? Put some of this Am on. Am I going to die? My trick to eating any spicy. Really? Lubricate your lips. Oh, okay. Do you remember that scene in um uh -huh. Batman Forever? Uh huh. With um poison ivy and a. Oh yeah, when she has to like the thing. He has like the wax lips. Okay, I'm right-handed, so I gotta eat with my right hand across this way. Take Soy is bad. Soy is not bad, Cherry Smith. Oh my God. Not penis. It's peanuts. <laughs> How could you like? Eat this and not like cough sure. afterwards. I love red, bright this red is, soups. This is so spicy. Oh my goodness. This was two times spicy. Yeah. Are you going to finish this all? Uh, oh my God. Fine. I'm going to be so sweating by the end of this. This oh, snail noodle. You did not tell me like up. how spicy this is going to be. I just put regular snail noodles. You didn't tell me this was going to be stinky and spicy. To be it. This snail noodle bowl needs a light up, coin door, riser, and oh. better marquee. I agree. Oh. Thank you, Stringer Films, for that $2 super chat. I hope this Tron is waterproof. Oh. I know. Hopefully we don't get a little splash pad around. Um, appreciate that. And he had another $2 super chat. It says, better waterproof these cabs before boiling noodles. We're not That's cooking. I don't know. Our, um, oh, my <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to get so bright red after this. It's pretty legit spicy. It's like chili oil. I don't think our home arcades will ever make it into the kitchen. But, yeah, I would be uh, concerned about cooking and eating this. Oh my goodness. I don't know how. That thing is so red. My lips are on fire right now. How can you like be normal? I'm starting to sweat. Holy Wish. crap. <laughs> you put both the spicy packets in there? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh, so hot. So spicy. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Need time. shrimp, mussels, and clams. Is it Wi-Fi enabled? Is there other ones? All right. Poor Gary the snail. That drink um, on the Tron cat behind me gives you anxiety. Oh, yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. I this. They just put it there for a second. Cheers. Oh, I'm not knocking things over. <clears throat> Her mouth is watering. You should do this every Sunday. <laughs> it is spicy, though, man. Whew. So and speaking of, like, do arcade one-ups really hold alcohol that well? So I had uh, mentioned on Console Kit stream that he bought a Simpsons cab mm -hmm. for... Two hundred dollars. It was really great. They've been on clearance for crazy now. And there was a stream about a year ago where I confessed that I might have purchased a Simpsons cap for four hundred dollars when it first came out, and I might have bought it from somebody who might have picked it up that from a place questionably. So never felt quite right ever opening it or owning it and having it up. But I did donate it to a brewery, and so. It is at one of our favorite breweries, and I check on up on it once in a while when we go visit. And the control panel is nasty. Like <laughs> people are drinking beer there, and there's spills that you can see underneath the plexi. And like the Simpsons cab is blue, so then you have like these yellow stains on it. So yeah, like I, I wouldn't have wanted that cab back anyways. But yeah, like, spilling alcohol and drinks into your cabinets definitely is not a Bad good look news. so yeah definitely well you, you have this on the freaking tron cab so you're not going to spill that right i've already broken the tron cab oh, yes it's true Whew. all right spicy 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 
It says, uh, ramen bowl last night, they used fish broth, not chicken broth that you ordered. Oh, fish broth and... Sukumen. And sukumen, yeah. So there's different ramens that use fish broth, but I'd only see it in something called sukumen for sure. All right. Bart Tinte Fox says, the ramen's tactic to feed poison ivy was based in reality. It was? That's all right. So he looks like he's in spicy. pain. I'm sweating already. I need to go get like a towel because I'm going to be sweating the rest of this time. Okay. Oh, oh. All right. Can you taste the snails? Guess you can't taste the snails. No, you can't really taste the snails. And like from a stinky standpoint, maybe there's some people that would say this smells stinky, but I smell more spice than anything. But I could, while she was cooking this downstairs, I could already smell the spiciness portion of it. So this was like a combination of really hot spicy noodles and crazy, crazy. Um, oh, this is like wood ear mushroom. That's all I like put together. Yeah, so we got to mix that up a little yeah. bit. Oh, my goodness. All right. That's super hot. Oh. The snail noodles, it's awesome. There's so much stuff The late it. hits are in that dish. Yeah, for sure. All right, Mrs. Kong is like, this is nothing. No spice at all. For She's like not in pain at all. And I'm terribly... Uh, reminds me of the rice in that spicy challenge. Yeah, spicy rice noodles. This is terrible, terrible. When is our king Delicious. went up? I'm going to add cup holders. Oh, that's oh, not that's a, true. Not like a bad Busters. idea. Yeah, to add cup holders into the things. But um, there are some mods where people are building cup holders into the control panels. I know like 99 Lives Arcade um, does that. Bobby Vu used to do a ton of like LED cup holder mods into the control panels and things. And while it's functional, I don't know. I, I kind of be worried about having a drink on there. I think having it on the side of a um, pinball machine or something like that on the leg would be okay to have. But yeah, on my actual arcade, it would be terrible. All right. <clears throat> Beer and snail ramen all over it. Thanks, MG. Another $2 super chat from Stringer Films that says, gonna wish you had a cold bidet in the morning. Um, this is true. I um, actually did install a bidet downstairs in the bathroom after hearing our good friend Travis MCP on the Outsiders podcast talk about how amazing bidets are. How are you liking that bidet, Mrs. Kongzares? Your children likes it more. Yeah? What so did they call bougie. it? The butt spray? The butt spray. The butt spray. Oh, my God. So I did install it. I have a short that I would made of me doing the install. Ew. Oh, install, not sitting on top of it. And maybe testing it out for the first time. That'll be fun to show off at one point in time. Maybe sometime soon you'll see. Let me know if, if you want to see more bidet content. No, nobody wants to see bidet content. I don't Our think that's something anybody right wants now. to talk. Whoo! Yeah. Ellipse and smile. Snails, not stallion. Man, all right. You brought back uh, the backdoor version of the Simpsons. I did. I, uh, it fell off the back of the truck. You do like your spicy ramen bowls. Yeah, for sure. I do. She got off to get another shot. Yeah, she's been in and out. She's helping me. I'm like legit smelling right now. So let me know if you have any other questions or topics that you want to, to ask or talk about. Happy to chat about anything while we eat through this for the next 45 minutes and see. B, you're letting your heritage down with the spice level weakness. So I'll, I'll have to say. You're Southeast Asian. Yeah, I'm Southeast Asian. I'm Cambodian. And there are some spicy foods, but like I'm not like Korean that can handle like spice like nothing or like Chinese Cantonese people that just eat all levels of spice and no flavor. Cantonese people can't handle spice, actually. Really? No. Is it just more like you, generally? Probably. So the thing that I have learned about like Chinese food from her family is that they really don't like flavor, i.e. salt. Like, there's so many times where you've had dishes from like your family, and it's like not as flavorful. So I always find it like, and like in Southeast Asian culture, and like I used to grow up cooking food with like, fish sauce which is like laced with msg i would just be like pouring msg like salt babe be like yeah but it wasn't actual msg it was like inside the fish sauce so i was always used to eating like pretty salty food because we eat it with pickles and rice and so when we got married and we started eating food we had this balance where like she was plain food and i was like really salty but she would do spicy and i can't do spicy so it's like this weird connection of what we can do oh, i can't believe you like how much soup you've already eaten and drinking but yeah i'm i'm pretty bad right now with the spices Ah, oh, new heads have to have four cup holders. All right, Bob Oif says, you don't want cup holders on your cabs. You think exactly your kids can put drinks into them. Way to go, B. Welcome to the bidet family. Those noodles look so good. No more bidets, Delicious. that's right. All right, it's time for the one chip challenge show. Oh yeah, we did one chip challenge. We Well, we had other people do one chip challenges on our show before, but I think we've done the spicy peanut challenge before. Hot nuts, we did hot nuts. Was that fun? I that was ate not all fun. of it. What's that? 
she was legit crying. That's like the first time I ever saw her like go really crazy with that. What's worse, this or the hot nuts? Hot nuts. The hot nuts was it just because it was too dry? The mm -hmm. spicy levels were just getting progressively more and more worse. Yep. And you weren't even thinking about it too. You're like, I'm just gonna pop it in my mouth and go. I got some uh, chili oil in my eyes too. Oh no. I love how you have water plus too. I have water. I have tapu chicos that are ready on standby. I'm like more sweating than anything. Oh. <gasps> MSG is not bad. <sighs> what is that? Jerry Smith says MS MSG is so bad. I would say everything in moderation, right? Yeah. I think MSG definitely got a bad rap in the you know campaign for Chinese food restaurants, right? Saying like no MSG, no MSG, or people kind of complaining that they got headaches from having too much MSG. But um, it's just pretty much like any other salt. Salt, yeah. It's just a, it's a flavor profile. If you actually look. Um, and the research of it, it actually doesn't cause any of that. So if you have too much salt, it's bad for you. So if you use it in moderation, it's pure umami. It's pure flavor. That's what it is. All right. All right. Wife is laughing. <laughs> She's cracking up. It's it's spicy. It is spicy, spicy. Okay. All right. Hobby hands. All right. Indians, man, can, they can do spice. They love the food, but they had to dumb it down on the spice for my weak mouth. Yeah, I'm like, my mouth is tall and burning right now. Look at my lips, they're really bad. Yeah, some... All right, would I ever give up salt for a new pinball machine? Oh, that kind of reminds me of that question of what? like, would you, um, what would you give up first? And like, this is when I was college, like food or sex? Sex. Well, that's, that's a tough question, right? You have no hesitation. I love my food. <laughs> you love your food? Come on, like guys. Are you with me? Like, have you ever been asked that, like, as a question, like a truth or dare question? What would you give up first, food or sex? And then um, I, I always struggle with that answer. Sex. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yes. Well, you have other methods of pleasuring? Other methods. No? Look at this. Mouth she, orgasm. She, does, she doesn't need me. Yeah, she has mouth orgasms for stuff, so. Uh, she has no no hesitation. That's what I'm saying, MG. She's like, nope. Food, you dead. <laughs> no food, you dead. This is true. But like, what if it was like you only could eat like not flavored food? It would just like be a, a simple exactly. ration or something like that. Like rations. That's fine. Yeah? Food. I love my food. <laughs> She's like, nope, depends on what you want to eat, I guess. Yeah, it depends on who he's with. <laughs> oh, Brooklyn Menace says his wife is Thai, so every night dinner is like this doing the one chip challenge, man. Yes, uh, for sure. Ah, uh, it's good. You like spice, but if it overpowers the actual food, then it's too much. I I I I don't do you uh, taste the flavor? Yes. What does the flavor taste like? Can you describe it to the people? Pungent. Well, pungent's not a that's a smell. Um <sighs> Think of sauerkraut, but spicy. Yeah, it does have like, a little bit of a sour flavor to yeah. the soup base. Mm. What's funny though, like, so my brother-in-law shipped it to us. One of the packages exploded and all the vinegar. So we don't have that yeah, sour vinegar flavor. There is some vinegar spiciness in here. Oh, you good. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Console Kid says he's, uh, or a fine boy saying he's eating noodles too. Joga Flame. Jason's ordering a bowl of pho tomorrow. I can go for a nice bowl of pho. Sorry, right, here's another question for you then specifically. Would you rather have a bowl of pho or ramen? What do you think, chat? What's better, pho or ramen, ramen. if you've had both? Oh. Really? I do like the, the like, freshness of pho because mm -hmm. it comes to, like vegetables. Mm. <sighs> so for folks that don't know, pho, <laughs> P-H-O, is- um, Bone broth. Is a bone, it's like, yeah, it's a, pork bone broth soup that is Vietnamese based. So it's Vietnamese nice rice noodles in a soup. Super delicious if you've never like had it. spice. Yeah. But ramen is Japanese based, which has, it's almost like pork egg noodle broth. based. Uh, they the should noodles. Do, I guess they do kind egg of, noodles. It's almost like an egg noodle, right? Well, that's true. Pho is like rice noodles. Yeah. And then this rice noodles, very two different types of brews. So we have here, AWOL says ramen. Mm. Endless says ramen. Ozzy likes Simon. Interesting. I've never been a huge Simon fan because of the um, that's Hawaiian style soup noodles. I felt like the the broth is too plain. Like I don't think there's enough flavor profile in Simon. Maybe I'm not that good one, but 
I've had really good pho with great pho broth. That's super refreshing. I think if I'm like sick, I feel like pho is my chicken noodle soup. Like that, that broth is just so comforting and homey. But ramen is like very good. And ramen can be salty too. All right. Egg noodles are better than rice noodles, you think? Yeah, we bought Let's this. Let's make book. some ramen. We bought this nice. for our oldest. Mm -hmm. It's actually like a... People say ramen so far. A lot more ramen people are out there. All right, you're out. Hey, what's up? Peace out. Good to see you, Cyber Styles. Did you get the Robustin Prime trailer? Um, what? All right. What? Confession number one. Yes, I did purchase the Robustin Optimus Prime trailer. So do you know what the Robustin Optimus Prime is? Transformer that doesn't give me wine. Yes, it does. It's self-transforming transformer. Do you know what the trailer is? <laughs> Is it storage? What's that? Or is it transforming too? No, it's a it's a self transforming trailer that is compatible with it. So it's what an it accessory. Transform into? What's that? What does it transform into? It just transforms into like the base. So Optimus Prime transforms into the cab into the robot, and the the cab the trailer transforms into like this base when it fixes him. So yes, that's confession number one. She doesn't know how much it costs. All right, so he says ramen is still good. Beef is king. Ramen. Hey, hey, what's up, Swole Dad Pitbull? Ooh, Curtis Hartcade for the pho fans. Says pho hands down. In fact, you got so happy when you learned pho it was a breakfast yeah. dish. But sad, no pho, shop, pho shops are open in the mornings. What? There's some places that open as early as though I'd say like nine or ten. There's I think the earliest I've ever seen is like too. oh yeah, twenty four hour pho shops in like in Little Saigon or K Town. So good. Yeah, I think pho for breakfast, like all, pho Delicious. any day of the day, yeah. time. Like breakfast, lunch, dinner, all day. Ramen, I think, would be heavy for breakfast. It's a little bit like heavier and thicker, the tonkatsu broth. But yeah, I, that's what I really like pho for too. Uh, we got another person for pho, uh, Mrs. Grass Soup. Mmm, mm. I don't know what that is. All right, so we have, MG says, we had ramen when he was a kid, but it was called bachelor noodle soup, all sorts of flavors, maybe a UK thing. Sounds like it. Yeah, I mean, I grew what's, up. What's inside a bachelor? So here's here's the fun thing about ramen is I grew up eating like top ramen or like a cup of noodles ramen. And so that's what I thought of ramen growing up. It's like, oh, you want ramen? It's just like the little package or the cup of noodles, the maruchan. Like that was ramen to me. And I grew up eating pho a lot. And in a Cambodian culture, we have a similar dish called katil. And so that's our our pho so i really love that broth growing up but it wasn't until i would say college until i heard my first bowl of like real legit japanese ramen and um like top top two ramen places for you in la um sujita sujita yes so there's like a uh, sujita uh, L la is one of the best places in la to eat not only ramen but another version sujita. of of ramen broth called skmin where you dip cold noodles into this broth it's super good uh and where else yamadaya yamadaya oh. yeah mm, i don't think so santoka 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 is another place that has super i would say still to this day my favorite ramen ramen would be santoka ramen in um in the la places so those are some of the best ramens that i've had so that kind of turned me on to ramen because growing up it was just eating like you know really insta simple noodles. insta noodles which was pretty much ramen all right, Eric says he lived in Garden Grove. He had a ton of fuss spots. Mmm, that's right. Garden Grove has a lot of good stuff. Mrs. Kong, it's a waste of money is all you need to know. <laughs> okay. Here. Oh, he's Our talking cake. about the Robeson Prime. Yeah, it it, it 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 was a lot of ridiculous money. Don't tell her the trailer takes up the whole living room. Wait, what? It does not take up the whole living room. It takes up a lot. Actually, I don't even have a space to display my Robeson Prime right now. It's still in its in box. box. I pretty much take it out as a party toy. <laughs> To like show off to people and then it goes back into this box because it doesn't really have a place to stand up and stand on its own so yeah it's it's pretty uh pretty tame all right you're so making cool. some ramen right now there it is chinless one up all right oh the swole box says he's italian he makes his own noodles would you ever make your own rice noodles or egg noodles egg noodles is only three ingredients flour yeah. rice and flour or flour and eggs flour eggs have you flour. ever made your own pasta or your own noodles before no no Oh, that sounds interesting. So, well, I need to know what your recipe is. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got like. <coughs> I'm so full. I got all. Um, I don't know if we're going to finish this. It before this, too. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to finish this. Oh, there's so much stuff. So good. <coughs> oh, my God. So, MG says. 
Woo. That was spicy. Sex or roll the Tron trailer? <coughs> I already had a hard time with the sex or food question, so also the Roboton trailer. <sighs> You're so sweaty. I know. I'm like it's gross. It's, it's terrible. Sexy time, huh? Oh yeah, it looks so good, right? So good. Mm, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Instant ramen. All right, so MG says, Bachelors is all kinds of pocket ramen. It's cheap. If it wasn't that cheap, they come in all flavors like chicken, curry, lo mein, beef, KFC, chicken, chicken, just powder that you added. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds like instant ramen too right now. You're making breakfast for dinner right now. Sounds delicious. I like breakfast for dinner. All right, machine noodles are better than handmade noodles. Mm -hmm. Of course, 19K Socks uh, is all about that sexiness. Oh, Swole Dad says he will give you the recipe. Old school. All right, definitely we'll get in touch with you. Hey. All right, so <clears throat> in terms of other fanciful noodle trends you've done, you've also done, there's also a, a spicy ramen, right? Like this is not ramen because these noodles, I would say it's a cross between it's almost like a mix between ramen noodles because it's a thick, it's thick as ramen, but it's rice noodles like pho, right? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like the the complexion, but like low, spicy ramen. Low too fun. Low too fun. Low too fun. Low too. Is that a type of noodles? No, it's just this no noodles. Mm. Like the spicy noodles, would you rather have this spicy snail noodles or would you rather do the spicy ramen? Snail noodles. So good. Yeah, all the way. These were gotten expensive though, right? Yeah. So it's hard to find. How much is this package of noodles? Typically between three to five dollars. I've seen them on like Amazon for like ten bucks each. I know. More. This is a really good brand. Yeah. It looks like a hot pot. Yeah, we've actually been enjoying some some instant hot pot things too. There's like these new self heating hot pot dishes that we've been getting. So those are kind of fun to do in the middle of the night too, or not late at night. Mm -hmm been pretty fun so yeah we can keep eating this and and chilling and chatting if you guys have any questions feel free to pop them into the chat Woo, I'm getting hot i need to crack open some more <clears throat> beverages can't believe you did the spicy one did you have any other versions of it or did you have to go spice this is the only one thank you mr sketch yes i don't think that we're actually going to finish this oh Strimply Dumpling Strictly. sells a kit. Yeah. Is that a group or is that something? It's um the kids love watching him. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that the one that he does um food reviews? Food reviews? Oh. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. Console fanboy asks, do I ever play my MK at all? It's um it's there. I uh not as as well versed in the MK world as I am in the Street Fighter world. So I would say no, it's not like my go-to to like play. It's like, I think MK, the original gameplays, even the original Street Fighter games, they're a little bit too slow for me. I like my versus games, my Marvel versus Capcom. That's probably like still my favorite game. When I think about fighting games and genres, Marvel versus Capcom 2 is coming out pretty soon. That's a really fast game. Like the whole screen is flying. All the characters are super fast. You get hit once, the whole game is done right? And then you have the super slower games like the Street Fighters and the Mortal Kombat. And those games are like super slow paced. But I feel like, you know, just like Goldilocks, that one that's just right, like just in the middle, the like early versus games like X-Men versus Street Fighter, uh, which I'm not that great at, but Marvel versus Capcom is like my perfect speed of a game. Like the, the speed of that game is just right for me. Gets my feels. I can like play, I can combo. Um, but yeah, so full. Okay, so full. Okay, you can stop. You don't have to eat anymore. Are you done? Yeah, stop. Good. Good? You're going to have to go to the bathroom later? Too many noodles. And I'm just going to pick up the stuff. Maybe not eat the noodles, but we'll just eat the stuff. Just like pickled vegetables, bean curd. All the noodles are so good, though. And, um, spicy, isn't it? Um, it's like chewy. Mm -mm. It's wonderful. It's a little bit better than al dente. Yeah. <clears throat> When MVC2 comes, you should replace it with MK. No. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't know where I'm going to put my MVC2. I got it from Best Buy. So I don't know how long it's going to be. Until it gets here, it's going to be... I don't know. I want to put it on this row of cabinets. but I, full. It is pretty full. I really like this row of cabinets. It's been pretty fun. If you guys can see here, my row of cabinets behind me is Marvel vs. Capcom. 
Big Blue, Mortal Kombat, Tron, Dragon Slayer, my Star Wars, my Star Wars trilogy, and then my Tempest cab at the end there. So like that's my pretty, it's a pretty good row of cabs. It looks great. And um, I have this wall right behind us where we're sitting at right now that have some space to put some new stuff to. Dragon Ball Z. I don't know what that means. Mm. Are you a Dragon Ball Z fan? Nope. Just put it in the bedroom. <laughs> That's an idea. No? All right. What does Nooner say? You can read it out loud. I felt a disturbance in the forest that someone was eating spicy food. So here I am now eating it. It's spicy for sure. Yeah, we're eating right now for folks that are just joining in. These are snail noodles from Lizhu River. Lu Chao. Lu Chao. Lizhu River. Am I saying that right? Lu Chao. Lu Chao. Show off the thing so people can see it for the people that are here late. So we kind of ate through half of it so far. These are spicy as heck. This is like... What is it? Spicy noodles. I don't even know. Does it give you the um the scoville level in here at all? No, not at all. <sighs> Happy snail. Mm -hmm. This is one serving size for the whole thing. Yep. Nine hundred and seventy calories. Woo! That's how you split it. <sighs> Where's the ingredients list? Right here. This one. No, those are just the methods. Oh, this is the whole ingredients list right here. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. All right. So here's all the ingredients that were in here. <clears throat> this was um, one was a snail soup bag. Yep. Drinking water, snail soup, edible salt, edible vegetable yeast extract, chili, trick broad bean sauce, white sugar, green onion, garlic, ginger, spices, sodium glutamates, food flavor, <clears throat> potassium sodomate. There was pickled cow pea, pickled radish, pickled cow peas, um, there's pickled bamboo shoots, uh, a chili oil bag, fried peanuts, yuba bag, a yuba bag with soybeans. A, it says, does that say Jews ear bag? Yeah, Jews. What a Jews ear bag. They're the um, wood ear mushrooms. The wood ear? Oh, wood ear mushrooms. And then a vinegar bag that you said that messed that I messed up. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Shelf life, 207 days. Yes. Happy snail egg noodles. Ooh, was Thank it worth it? Oh, I'm sweating. This is so hot. So spicy. Oh, all right. That bowl of rice uh, would be nice with chow fun style noodles. Do you think this would be good with different types of noodles or no? No, this noodle would be perfect. I'm so full. Yeah? I'm going to take a nap. All right. Are you good? Nap. <laughs> what are you doing? Noodle nap. <laughs> what are you doing? She's she just left me. Look, oh my goodness, Mrs. Kongzeros, are you that are you that busy? <laughs> Look, she just like went to the floor. It's just like needle nap on the floor. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, did you have too much to drink? All right, you might you might witness um Mrs. Kongzeros just take a nap for the rest of the show. So all right, it's just me now. Um, so why don't I just do this and uh we'll keep eating the noodles while I can, while anybody else asks any questions that you guys have. Uh, what's the sodium content? Yeah, to sodium content. I don't know if it says it on here. Sodium is, oh my goodness, 320% for sodium was 7,240 milligrams for sodium content. It's pretty damn crazy. So yeah, <laughs> look at that. Oh, 320% for sodium content. Holy crap. Holy crap. Sodium has to be over 100,000. It's pretty crazy. All right. You got a rough cold at the moment. This might be a good idea. Something to eat. Yeah. Might be good. Just going to keep eating this. Mm. I do like the peanuts inside of things. <laughs> Are you okay, Mrs. Gongzaras? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Yeah, the swole dad pit ball says, holy jeebus. Um, as you give people kind of workout advice, probably should not recommend this for those that are actually on a diet or anything of that sort, right? We're having some fun hand gestures here. Funny, funny, funny. Yeah. All right. That sodium will blow up your ass like a balloon. Uh, funny, funny. Yes. Uh, is your ethnicity Chinese? Uh, so my wife is Chinese. I am Cambodian. Uh, from ethnicity side 
All right, there's lots of slurping, sweating, and gases going on in the stream. You're absolutely here for it. What's up, Hopsy66? Thanks for being here. All right. Says, do you have Raiden 2 on any of your cabs, emulated or on the PCB? Funny that you mentioned that, Fox, because um, this cabinet right here, even though it has um, Macross going on right now, check this out. So this is my Tron cabinet that I have a uh, shoot 'em ups playlist. I have 1942, some other games on here, but I'm pretty sure I have Raiden, Raiden DX, Raiden Fighters, Raiden 2, Raiden Jet. So yeah, here is Raiden 2 emulated on my Tron to play with the, the flight stick. So that's how I'm playing Raiden 2 right now. So emulated, and I also have it on my Star Wars cabinet too, just to play it on here so uh, right now i'm running Star Fox 64 on the star wars yoke it's actually a pretty fun game to play with the yoke i know people are like blasphemy but it's actually fun just to shoot around with it all right <clears throat> so for the next three to four days no salt tammy g says uh i don't know if i could live without salt like i just love my flavor i'm always like flavoring things uh, my go-to seasoning for any type of meat is crayol seasoning and that's really salty but yeah, that's really good. Well, it's really spicy. <coughs> All right. It says, what? What, what, what? Okay. All right. If you ate through that, you'd land a floor, wake up, surrounded by your own crap. Possibly. I don't know how I'm going to wave up Mrs. Kong's rest later, but uh, there she is. Can you wave to people? Are you good? Are you sure? Yeah? Do I need to wake you up later? See, look, I have a lot of room in my arcade. There's lots of space to hang out. Yeah. I totally have room for another pinball machine right there. Right, yeah. Mrs. Kong's arrest? Nope. Uh, this is where I get to ask her for things and say, like, all right, I'm going to put another pinball machine right there. Nope. Yeah? I think she says yes because she's on the nope. floor and can't, and can't argue against me. So <laughs> Pac-Man's coming for you. All right. So you guess 30,000 to 50,000 on a Scoville level if it's got Thai chili peppers. I don't know if it has Scoville levels on here, but it's really, really, really spicy. That's a full works week work. Oh, you're a dietitian. That's a full week's worth of sodium in one serving. Yeah. Salty. Definitely not, not for the faint of heart. Okay. Someone's going to be making some bathroom rums tonight for sure. All right. Capation is good for you. All right. So here we go. You have the coolest calves. Thank you. That Tron is modded. Okay, and jealous. Yeah, I haven't done like a full showcase on my Tron cod, uh, cab, but yeah, I, I definitely want to show it off. All right. Do I have a Simpsons cabin? Can you give your opinion? It's like some of the hacks out there for it. I do not have the Simpsons cab anymore. I had it, but I donated it. Kind of had this funny story of how I acquired it. But anyways, I don't have it in my possession. I do think that some of the mods for it have been pretty cool. Um, the team encoder guys had done a version to i think upgrade um and the simpsons pcb to play a lot of different things and so the 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 hack that they released for fixing the input lag was actually meant for how to get the simpsons control panel to work as multiple controllers instead of just one controller thing and so um <laughs> a little easter egg inside of that hack was it's called the Simpsons input lag fix or something like that. So yeah, I don't have that particular cabinet to do any of the mods for it, but if anybody does, I think console kits has it. Maybe he'll be able to do some content. All right. He says, use sea salt or Himalayan salt. Mm, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Room for a couple of bodies. It's not a good way to sell us on the noodles. Uh, I don't know if I'm here to sell noodles. I was just here to try them out live in front of everybody to enjoy some noodles and have a conversation, but the peanuts and the, the other food, Definitely good stuff. All right. Is that food you want to get a hurt for a certain later? Yeah, it definitely probably is going to hurt pretty much later. Yeah, pinball. After eating food and falling asleep fast, that's a food coma. I would say it's like 25% food coma and 75% alcohol binging. She uh, was drinking a giant growler. And before she started drinking this growler, she already had two other beverages at a local brewery that we're at. So she's already had her fair share of, of drinks for the evening. So she's going to have a nice nap later and um, we'll have to wake her up a little bit later. But man, these 
these needles making my nose running. Woo. Woo. All right. Hopsy just says he picked up a Tron and you're not a modder. What's the simplest way to get flight games on it? Like afterburner. It's a good question. I did a series of videos where I modded my Tron cabinet. So the thing here of what I did with Tron, just for, for you to, to see what I did, um, the Tron joystick is just like a regular joystick. That's an eight way joystick. So you can use any encoder that you want to. So pretty much any encoder, uh, USB encoder will work to get your Tron stick to work as a USB controller. Um, even the buttons just will plug in. The spinner, the stock spinner didn't work. I couldn't get it to repurpose. So this is Glenn's GRS spinner. And Glenn also printed me this little extender portion of it right here, which is pretty awesome. And I was able to wire it up and have some LEDs. It used to be all blue, but it kind of broke. But this is Glenn's Retro Show spinner that I have plugged in. So between the USB controller and Glenn's spinner, I just plug this into a PC and then I'm running my big box playlist to play a bunch of other flight games on here. So this is my exit button. And then I also have, you know, all these flight games like the Raidens, I have Space Harrier 1942. If I go back, I also have a playlist for different flying games like Afterburner, uh, Afterburner Climax, Air Combat, Buck Rogers, Galaxy Force, G-Lock Air Battle, Metahawk Strike Fighter. Um, I also have a second screen there that's kind of acting as like my marquee. So I have like a marquee up there too. Um, so it's like a dynamic marquee. I have some tank games. I have several Tron games on here. The original Trons, some of the um, specialized custom games like NCOM and Space Paranoids is on here too. They don't play that great on here because normally they're meant for a keyboard and a mouse. Uh, and then I have arcade classics like Zaxxon or Akronade. So anything that uses a flight stick controller or the uh, trackball classic games, they're all on here too. So those are my uh, my Tron playlist. I was eventually going to do some content on that to, to do a big old playlist uh, or a, a, just a showcase of it uh, with all the different mods that I did on it. So expect that pretty soon. I want to make that video. I finished this Tron mod a while ago, so I want to I want to get to that. All right. 3,000% salt would drop you to the floor immediately for sure. <laughs> Chorizo, eggs, and bacons. You must have missed a lot. No worries. Thanks for being here, man. You know, Thai peppers around 50,000 skulvers. You do spicy contests to yourself. Research what stupid stuff I'm consuming. That sounds terrible, Nooner. That sounds absolutely terrible. Mrs. Kong could be a foot model. Yeah, she has really cute feet. I'll say that much. All right. Tom Brady and the Buccaneers are getting blitz right now. I watched the first quarter of that game, so definitely nice. All right. Your brave alcohol and spicy stuff is like drinking in a hot tub, night, night time, for sure. Now, until Ronan says, I guess those noodles could clean out your sinuses. Yeah, my nose has been running all day. Now is the time to tell Mrs. Kong you're buying a fun house pinball. Mrs. Kong, they're us. I'm buying a new pinball machine. No. no. She's still awake whenever I tell her I'm going to buy something. Nope. Nope. <laughs> MG says, I'm going to buy Pitbull a new keyboard, so he's working caps lock key. Nope. Nooner says, if he gets a Tron, will you mod it? You'll even pay me. Um, I kind of, like, I've been retired from doing commissions for mods. Um, I made a, a decent amount of side income doing commissions for the Star Wars mods. And that was kind of my bread and butter. I never wanted to expand to offer to other cabinets because I get really meticulous when I do my mods and commissions, like they're my own. So I spend a lot of time on the playlist to make sure every single game worked. Um, so here's kind of like my thoughts on multi It's like somebody could help put in a coin ops build or a hyperspin build and you can have thousands of games. But I can guarantee you that anybody that does that mod for you and puts that onto a pie and sells it to you, they've never tested every single game that comes on those like giant multi keys with thousands of games. So there's definitely some level of, of self-learning that it comes to get everything working. When I put together and curated my playlist for this, and even for Tron, like my number of games that I have on there is based on every single one of them tested with the controls that I've modded. So I like tested all 300 plus games to make sure that they work with this, with all the controls flawlessly. That takes so much time to do. I don't do that for every commission. I've been able to test it as I was building the mod. So generally, most of them work without a hitch. But yeah, and doing that for another cabinet, say if I was going to offer something for Tron or people have asked me for my big buck mod support, 
Um, it's just a lot of work to be able to get that quality control that I would like. And there's just not enough time in the day to do that much effort into those mod commissions, plus my job, plus the family and, you know, making regular content. So I'd have to sacrifice something to do that. But it is something I've been thinking about, especially if there's going to be re-releases for the Star Wars cabinets, I might open that up. But something like Tron, I don't think it's something that I would do. Um, just because I think it's it's easy enough for people to to do on their own. I was thinking about at least just releasing the big box build so that people could have that if they wanted it. But yeah, I don't think I'll be doing Tron commissions. All right, GS spinners are sick. That's sick. Tempest is great. All right, thanks for the feedback, B. You was floored. <laughs> Wait, that was Mrs. Kong's arrest for sure. She is on the floor right now. Danzi asks, could you mod Dragon's Lair and make it play Cliffhanger and other Laserdisc games? You know what? That's not a like a terrible idea, but the problem with doing that though is that the second screen here, I don't think anybody's been able to tap into modding this and then making this functional for something else other than the stock games. There's so much proprietariness happening in this digital alphanumeric screen that works with the stock games. I wouldn't want to remove the stock games and add in um cliffhanger and the other laser disc games you probably could play them but you wouldn't be able to like get the scores on that alphanumeric screen there so i think dragons there is one that's if you're a fan of the games i i feel like these three are just worth keeping the same and not modding them um but that would be cool if you wanted to put that in there uh i just don't think it's worth it because you wouldn't be able to get the alphanumeric screen stuff working all right um AW Productions asked, can I make images of the modded ones? Um, I could, but I it's not something that I would probably offer to anybody. It's just one of those things where you're dealing with the legality of ROMs and things like that. So if anything, I've always offered my services to do the build, the physical side of things. And then any of the, um, you know, the playlists and things, it's pretty much the playlist. And, and most folks, I require them to be able to find the ROMs on their own to add into the playlist and make sure that it works. So that's kind of how my disclaimer works out for doing commissions and things. It's that, you know, the labor is pretty much to do the physical portions of it, but the images, I don't think I would ever just make a straight image of my mods. Uh, the, the big box theme and the templates though, that's something I probably might share where it would just be the front end where you could see all the images and just the playlist. Cause I even spent time uh, making custom videos for all my, playlist. I even made custom logos for each of the different um, icons for the playlist. So that's all stuff that I kind of just played around in Photoshop and made and, and did some video editing for a playlist. So I might do that, but I don't think I would make a full on image with everything. Thanks, Carlo. Hit that like button. Uh, I'm still wanting a cliffhanger <laughs> in any which way. Yeah, I, I always felt that the Daphne games were hard to emulate in general. So those games were, I would say, harder to play and it's one of the reasons why i originally bought an ir arcade one of the ir arcades that came out when they had dragons there was like this is an easier way to play dragons there games than um than a, a raspberry pi that had daphne on it i know there's some like some some ways to get it working once you figure out the emulation side but i'll like, say i sometimes i get lazy and i'm like i just want to play the game and so I, I think it would be cool and awesome if iArcade actually went after more of those Laserdisc games. If they released any other modern versions of uh, Dragon's Lair, Space Ace, and Time War, like Cliffhanger, and, and ways where we can get them on iArcade, maybe all those Laserdisc games would be fun to have on the iArcade. So that could be something else that they would consider doing to add more value to that. All right. Nooner also agrees about cliffhanger. All right. So Nooner also says, had you in mind when asking for B, you and I are cliffhanger and it shall open ice. Yeah, you guys are good. Where do you find the time? This is a good question. So I think between my side work, well, my real work right now, for folks that don't know, I, I do work for a nonprofit and I do work in disaster relief. So um, pretty much I've been spending a lot of time. And again, I just do another quick plug for it. My, um, spending a lot of time supporting all the, the folks that are being impacted by Hurricane Ian in Florida right now. So that's my big day to day is making sure that we have enough volunteers to be able to send over there to help out with the relief operation. Even though it might not be on the news cycle anymore about the hurricane, there was still thousands of people that are displaced staying in a shelter. There was a 
community in, in Florida that was uh, without power and an elderly couple was posting on Facebook to see if they could find out where the nearest shelter was. And I saw people saying, hey, can we get some help out there? And um, there was an emergency response vehicle that was deployed out to that area. And I saw them, you know, on Facebook posts, just thanking people for for reaching out. So uh, if you know anybody in the Florida area, please, you know, reach out, make sure they're okay. <clears throat> if you have the time to deploy and help out, you can definitely contact your local Red Cross. That's something you can do as well. So uh, besides that, that takes up a lot of my day. Making content is fun. Um, I enjoy making content with everybody and especially these live streams, entertaining folks. Um, I always felt like I would always have something to do, a project, something to talk about and mod. Um, but I am looking for that next big project to work on and uh, I have a couple of them. So now that Mrs. Kongsers has passed out, she's completely out. She has no idea. So this is just you and me right now. Okay, so in this space right behind me, so I'm going to show you something. In this space right behind me, there's that wall space. There's a Terminator 2 cabinet, I have Ridge Racer and Outrun in that corner. I had this whole empty wall right there. And then I have my pinball machines right there. So I have this whole space to do something with. I could probably fit, I would say, three arcade one-ups in this space. Or, or I have some upcoming things that I have planned. So one, excuse me, I do have a Godzilla pinball premium on order. So that's going to eat up the majority of the space here. And then, and then afterwards, I would have room for like one more thing only because that's going to take up a lot of space. Otherwise, I might put it downstairs. I don't know. We'll see. Right? Can I put it downstairs? No. Yeah, she says yes. She doesn't care. Mrs. Kong Zeros, are you okay? Are you good? Yeah. Give me a thumbs up. She's totally passed out. <laughs> um, I was planning on, originally, I had a racing build that I was going to make. And that was going to become a Star Wars battle pod. But the other thing that I that I have that Mrs. Kong Zeres has no idea, I still have my Star Wars cockpit. And she says she's she can't hear me right now. But yeah, I was like, I have like literally no space to put this upstairs. So I'm gonna figure that out right now. It got shipped to Bobby Vu's house. I'm gonna check it out and see if I can mod it up. But yeah, I have a shortened version of a Star Wars cockpit that I was planning to sit up here somewhere. Maybe I'll get rid of this. I don't know. I, I have a hard time getting rid of my original Star Wars mod because that was my very first mod that I did. So I'm pretty attached to this. So I don't know if I want to get rid of it. But if I have a Star Wars cockpit, technically you don't need this one, right? So we'll see. I've been back and forth about it. I measured out my space. I could technically fit a cockpit like right next to the pinball machine. It would go out probably to where her feet are, where her knees are. That's how far it would go out. And it would reach the wall. So <laughs> that's essentially where my Star Wars cockpit would go if I got one and put it in here. So we'll see. So those are some big projects I can't wait to work on. I also have my pinball machine downstairs, V-Pin, that I was planning on working on. So those are some other things that I'm, I'm working on too. Bob Oif says, two-on-two -two ice challenge is really fun. You hope to have a countercade version of that someday. That could definitely be cool. Dan Z says he would buy an arcade if they had Daphne ROM. Yeah, I think they would do well if they had more of those. Tell Mrs. Kong that I thought it was okay for you to buy a Houdini pinball machine. <laughs> I don't think I've played Houdini before <clears throat> or Funhouse. Like those classic arcade, or sorry, classic pinball machines like Funhouse, Houdini. I think I played, oh, actually I did play a Funhouse recently, but I've been playing the Epic 3 versions of them. Um, there's only a couple of classic ones that I really enjoy. Uh, I really like Theater of Magic and Circus Voltaire are some of the like my favorite classic pinball machines from the 90s that I like. So Circus Voltaire and Theater of Magic are pretty fun tables that I really like. In fact, I think I think my next pinball machine, Swole Dad Pinball, you got you to gotta help me figure this out. Um, I heard somebody say <coughs> that Chicago Gaming Company is going to re-release Medieval Madness remake and do another version of it. So now that I'm a pinball fan and... I'm going to buy Godzilla, which is the number one pinball machine of all time at the moment. The number two pinball machine of all time, and I had a ton of fun playing it, is Medieval Madness. So if Chicago Gaming Remake or does another version of Medieval Madness and it's available as a new in-box pin, I'm going to save up and, and buy that pinball machine. I think it would be amazing to have. So we'll see see how it goes. Oh, man. i got to like blow my nose. Like It's pretty gross. 
like snot all over the place. <laughs> all right, Bill says he might disappear. Oh no, build a Guitar Hero cap or Dance Dance Revolution. Mm, I could. I had some some Guitar Hero on my Wii, and and um, I could play it that way. So that's how I've been playing that. Be honest, B. You spiked your food so you can have this conversation. Uh, no, I think she's okay. She's she's okay. She's nodding in the floor. She'll be all right. Nooner says, Virtual Lizard has a Guitar Hero one, but you got to save it for it. Yeah, Guitar Hero Arcade is pretty fun. But I don't know. I feel like I don't need Guitar Hero in an arcade form. I think playing it just on my Wii and I have Rock Band and playing it just on a regular size TV is how I, I grew up playing Guitar Hero. So, yeah, I, I don't think I would have it in my arcade. But it is fun, though. So I would like to definitely play it. She needs a pillow. You know what? You're right. I think she does need a pillow. Let me go get her her pillow. Do you need a pillow, Mrs. Kong's RS? You're good? You're right there. All right. We took care of Mrs. Kong's rush. She has a pillow now, so. We're good. We can keep talking now. I can start confessing whatever else I want to. Wow. Yes, I can confess whatever else. All right. Joking aside, uh, money has to play an issue. Do you tend to buy all and then sell to keep the funding habit? Um, you know, part of the hobby grew when I was doing commissions. When I was selling kind of my services to do this mod, um, I was making pretty good side hustle money to be able to afford many of the things that that I had in the hobby space. And so some of, some of the YouTube revenue is definitely helping with that as well. But my biggest income, side income for the hobby came off of offering modifications for the Star Wars panel. So I did stop that for a while. So the side income hasn't been that great, but it's okay. I, I've enjoyed some of the time in the balance, but I might get back into it. Maybe to offer some more packages that would help. Uh, doing PC builds for other people, shipping them out. Um, and I always enjoy providing as best service as I can. So I might think about that again. How big of an LCD DMD can fit in the arcade one up pinball machine? Um, I don't know if it's worth replacing the stock DMD with an upgraded one because the stock DMD, when you take off the cover, turns into a 16 by 9, I think 10 inch screen already that's there. So I think that's already the best you can do and then add a screen into the top area unless you replace the entire back box. So I think the, um, yeah, I think I would just stick with the stock screen that you have. Two good ones, true story. That's right. Yes, Soakers Voltaire and Theater of Magic we're talking about. Monster Bash is a lot of fun. Ooh, it is a lot of fun. I would definitely like that. Godzilla, all right, does it come with divorce papers? I hope not. I don't think she would divorce me just for pinball machines. I don't think so. Hopsy says, I'm watching your stream on a 65 inch TV. So it looks like your dinner's staring back at me. Weird as F. Yeah, I'm just kind of letting it pull here. But like, look at the oil on this thing. Like, all right, sorry. I'm just going to switch this. Look, look how much oil and redness. This is all in her belly right now. And this is bean curd. And again, this is snail rice noodles. If anybody's joining in a little bit late, they're, the broth is made with snails. You can see, you don't see like any bits of snails in here. So you're not like chewing on any snails or things, unless that's a snail right there. Who knows? Um, but there's wood ear mushrooms, bean curd, and sauce. So, mm. okay. It's very spicy. I'm not going to do that again. I'm done. Uh, <coughs> that was really nice. You ever eat so much snot that you start like running nose? Ah, <coughs> oh, that was gross. Blow my nose live on stream. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> Snow noodles. I'll do that to you. Shoots. All right. Yeah, buddy. All great pins for sure. I think I would definitely do that. She's totally out cold. She has a pillow. She's all good now. I agree. I think she should be good for a little while. Look into spooky pinball and haggis pinball. Yeah, I definitely think that. 32 inches per cool toy. Uh, 32 inches for the play field, but not the DMD. I think he asked for DMD in the back box, but 32 inches if you're going to do play field. Big difference uh, between A1 up for 199 and 10,000 for real pins. You're right. There's no joke for sure. Um, 
it's a big, big investment for the pinball machines. I mean, I could sell the Star Wars pinball machine if I wanted to. Like, I, not that it's an it's a great IP. Obviously, I think when people come to my house and they come over, even if I had multiple pinball machines, the first one people would want to play would probably be Star Wars because of the brand IP. When I used to pick pinball tables that I would play in the wild, it would be because of the IP first. But then saying, hey, that's a really cool pinball table. And unless you're a pinball head and a pinball fan, you wouldn't know that Circus Voltaire <clears throat> is an amazing game or, you know, Fun House or Tales of the Arabian Nights. They'd be like, oh, those sound cool. But yeah, people people more casual will definitely uh, be attracted to the IP. So I kind of think about keeping it still, but we'll see. I might save up. Yeah, maybe no more arcade one ups. I'm I'm literally out of space, and I might have to be moving some things out there. All right, Raya, what's up, man? Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Von Bureman says you would like a PC build with pinup popper installed. Please start doing that commission. Yeah, I would say popper builds are difficult to do for people, and the reason why is that everybody's setup is slightly different. Even when I did my At Games Legends pinball mod. With the back box and the DMD three screen mod, it's so different to set up and configure. Even people doing surround sound feedback is a slightly different setup. And like you can kind of tweak some stuff, but I truly think that the best way to manage pinball for PC, and I know it's like cliche to say it, but I think it's to like learn and do it yourself. You can buy a PC that can handle it and pin up popper has the baller installer that will help you kind of get set up quickly. And you can start just loading in things like FX3 and then one table at a time. Um, but those are the ways that I would highly recommend doing it just so that you can get the hang of it. I know it kind of sounds cliche to be like, oh, everybody wants to do it on their own. I mean, there's some places that will offer those bills, but there's not a lot of people that will walk you through that process and have you learn everything. I do think that Retro Lizard does do something like that. So you can definitely reach out to Retro Lizard if you're interested. JQ, what's up, man? Appreciate you being here. Looks good. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Pitbull. Hey, Bill. Hey, Carl. Hey, Vaughn. <laughs> hey, Ozzy. Hey, Hopsy. Good vibes, everybody. Ray, you're so awesome. Thank you for being in everybody's stream supporting. Vaughn, it's easy enough that you can do it yourself. Yeah, for sure. Made with sleepy snails. Ooh, you love spicy food. Have you ever eaten snail noodles, Raya? It is like burning my mouth, and I'm not, I'm gonna be feeling this completely later. Spicy food is good. All right, hello, hello. Say, hey, buddy, by the way, one of the all-time pins is called Total Nuclear Annihilation. Look it up. They are remaking it. Oh, that sounds good. I'm going to put that on my list of, of pins to go check out. Um, I was visiting a couple of breweries around, uh, you know, my neighborhood, and I was just, I, I, I hope someday one of the owners of those breweries will become a pinball fan and then start buying these pinball machines to have in their taverns and bars so that I can go play them. There's no great places to play pinball in my neighborhood. The closest place that has pinball machines, like a good selection of them, I believe is in like Paramount. And like, it's only a, a membership based where you have to pay like, I think $25 a month or something like that to go play pinball. And then it's all you can play. But like, I don't know if I'm going to spend that much money to like have a membership to a place that I may go to occasionally um the captain's auction pinball is great but they're all the way in orange county super far away in anaheim it's like a 45 minute drive from me um there's that place in van nuys that all you can eat korean barbecue place that has a limited edition stern pinball machines up the wazoo and the toy story 4 pinball machine like there's no place i've seen a toy story 4 pinball machine in the wild except that captain's auction warehouse and that place in van nuys so I'm like, that's my new favorite pinball spot to play. And the pinball machines are cheap. Like he's do, he does Godzilla limited editions for 75 cents. And so that's the most expensive pinball machine is 75 cents. And then some of the older ones, like Mandalorian limited edition, he's already only 50 cents to play. So like, it's not even about making money. He's just like sharing the hobby with people. He has LEs. And so I'm playing limited edition Mando, Godzilla, and Rush, all limited editions, Jurassic Park too. So that's like my new favorite place to play because there's so many good LEs that are there. Um, and then I can eat Korean barbecue if I want to as well. So we've got to check that out. If anybody visits LA, you've got to go to All You Can Eat Gogi Pinball Machine. It's like full tilt pinball. Hey, what's up, Papa Brad's Gaming? What's going on? 
All right, is your Star Wars stern new or used and how much was it if you ask? Yeah, yeah, I'll just do a quick turnaround so people can see. I have a Star Wars uh, Pro pinball machine that I got last year in June. It was used from Captain's Auction Warehouse. I just did a video on Thursday where I talked about real pinball machines versus virtual pinball machines. And the short story is that I won it from auction uh, for $5,100, but the, after the buyer's premium and taxes, it ended up being close to like $5,900. And at the time I bought it, a real Star Wars Pro new in box was like $6,000. So people at the time were like, oh, you got ripped off. You could have paid $100 more for a real one. But um, just like three months later, they raised the prices on Star Wars Pros that are now like $6,600 for a new one. So I feel good that you know I got it for a decent price and it's in good condition. There's not a lot wrong with it at all was lightly used i see one scuff mark on the artwork but it's pretty pretty good condition all right where to buy the new bond pinball machine yeah it's all the the retailers and and dealers like um i know flipping out pinball has been one of the places that people recommend it's the place where i bought my godzilla premium from um so yeah there's a place called orange county pinballs that has uh, a lot of distributor is a stern distributor as well um, but they have a slight markup on their their pinball machine so it's a little bit above retail and so I've been trying to think about like, is it worth paying that extra premium? Oh, she's snoring right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. You I can totally ask her anything right now and just mess with her. I wonder, should I mess with her? Should I? No, no, you're, you can hear me. She can hear me. <laughs> okay, I woke her up. She was snoring just a second ago. I was going to mess with her. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we still do a ver new repin version of the new rush tables as you can't sneak a real one in the house. Yeah, I don't I don't know when like pinball tables get remade as like VPX tables and are, are, are redone. Like, you know, I think I think there was a team that redid the Batman 66 version of the table and they're like pretty close to the real ones and it's just a virtual table. Um, those are really fun. So like, I think these modern pins, if they ever make kind of the, um, a virtual version of them, um, yeah, it would be really fun to play some of those tables. Rush is actually a really fun machine. I played a limited edition Rush and there's this time machine in the middle of the play field that when you shoot through it, there's a magnet that kind of holds the ball in place and then it does some cool stuff. And I'm finally learning some of decent Rush songs like Tom Sawyer. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty fun table. I was really have a fun time playing the Rush pinball table. Yeah, I like it. I was actually looking up other Rush songs to see if there's anything else I recognize, but I think Tom Sawyer is the only Rush song that I know. What's up? What's up? What's up? You got a used like new. What up, Papa Brad? Uh, you haven't had snail noodles before, but you love shirataki noodles. They're keto friendly and super low calorie. This was not super low calorie. One serving. 970 calories 3000 i think what was the sodium count was 320 percent calories 7240 milligrams of sodium 17 grams of saturated fat 46 grams total fat this is not for the faint of heart <laughs> look at that oh bam that's that's a hefty thing happy snail noodles Li Tzu. I don't think we're even going to finish this. It's going to be too bad. All right, you got to come to New York, brother. They have killer pinball machines. Uh, New York is a place that we've never been to. I definitely want to get out there sometime. Uh, I think Mrs. Kong to us will love that too. Total Nuclear Annihilation is a machine that I was told helps you learn how to play pinball better. Has really good shots that cross over to other pinball machines. I'm going to totally put that on my list to look for. I don't think I, even when I visited, when I visited, um, Galloping Ghost Pinball and the other pinball arcade machines. I don't, I don't even recognize the title. So I got to look for that. Now that you guys both recommend that, that will be on my on my to playlist. I got to look for that table for sure. All right. If your dinner was a villain, it'd be Krang from TMNT. Uh, that's true. Here you go. Ready? Krang is now eating these snail noodles are <laughs> right it's uh the brain <laughs> yeah it's pretty pretty fun i love this crank figure it's pretty awesome it's like a 200 hundred dollar crank figure oh so expensive for toys right all right won't be out for long bond won't be out till q2 yeah i'm looking forward to playing the bond pinball table see if that's good all right yes you always pick on the past that wife it's fun just make sure the marker is washable 
I think I think if I'm quiet for a little bit longer, she'll be passive enough and I can do something. You think Rush is terrible? <laughs> All right, maybe I just haven't played a lot of pinball. All right, maybe I just had fun with it because I had a pretty good route. Like, you know, here's 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 what when you think about good pinball machines is like when I play it, is it fun? Is it enjoyable? And and can I have a decent run at it shooting different shots? And so I'm still relatively new in terms of comparing all pinball machines, but I had a good run at it and it was fun. So I think that's kind of my experience for it. So why? tell me why you think Rush is so terrible. I got to know. I got to know. You got to tell me why. All right, VPX tables replicating real tables cannot be released publicly until four years after the release date. Oh, that's really good to know. Because I think, yeah, Star Wars 66 came out a while ago. Um, I mean, um, Batman 66 came out a while ago. So four years after, so four years ago would be 2018 Stern tables or less, right? There's a lot of good tables that were 2018 and under. So I would love to see a digital version of my Star Wars pinball table and then I can just sell it, right? That would be fun. That would be fun. All right, do I know Limelight? You don't know Limelight? Oh, from uh, The Rush? I think I listened to it, but I can't like, hear it off the top of my head and be like, yep, I've heard of that. All right, where that sucks. New York, where what spots in New York have good pinball? Total is never for sale. People don't want to get rid of it. Upstate New York. All right, Total uh, Annihilation is made by Spooky Pinball. New orders are being taken right now. They made Halloween, Ultraman, Rick, and Morty. Oh, yeah, Ultraman was one of the ones that I've been really wanting to to, to play too. You know what? I They have a couple of Spooky Pinball machines at that place and Van Nuys, I got to double check to see if they have it there. Cause there's this whole wall of pinball machines. I didn't even check out cause I just went straight to the Sterns. I got to go back and check it out. All right. Spooky also made Alice Cooper's haunted pinball and Rob Zombie. All right. Hopsy says as a Canadian, you need to say the swole that pinball has every right to be wrong about rush. All right. So we got the Canadians that are definitely uh, putting some, some feelers out there that Rush is is not only a great band, it's a good pinball machine. All right, Iron Maiden PBX is coming out later this year. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I definitely need to check it out. All right, Bob Oif says, my aunt and uncle had a pinball in their restaurant. He loved it, but it was 30 years ago. I think it was called Earthquake or uh, Awesome. Earthquake, how it's awesome and the table shifted. Yeah, these shaker motors inside pinball machines add a great layer of fun to it. So when I get my Godzilla Premium, I think to get a shaker motor pre-installed, it's like another like four or five hundred bucks, maybe like way more expensive. But the shaker motor itself costs only like $120 or so. So I'm probably going to try to get one and install it myself if I get one. Because I think the shaker motor, it's if you're doing a virtual pinball machine, um, a shaker motor is like one of the toys that makes a huge difference. Like solenoids are absolutely great but i think the shaker motor is like one of the next toys that i would highly recommend for people to get like flashing lights are cool but from an experience standpoint it's pretty fun all right swole that pit is gonna tell me why rush sucks he says boring if any rush pins us are worth it it's the pro it's the fastest of the three types and the le and premium play way slower there's too many toys on it ah all right well i played only a limited edition version of it so if it was slow, it made my gameplay better. So there are a lot of like like that ramp shot to get into the the time capsule machine. Maybe I gotta find a pro rush machine. There are some machines where the pro, like people like the pro version of it better than the other ones. In fact, the Star Wars Pro people, some people say that they like the Star Wars Pro playing field and and gameplay better than the LE or the premium side of it. So I gotta I gotta test that out. Got to check that out. All right, I'm getting behind chat. You have a Jersey Jack pinball machine. Which one do you have, Tammy? Let me know. All right, if you're in upstate New York next month, you'll have to learn how to shovel snow. What's up, Deputy Van Halen? Good to see you. Pitball, Schenectady, Irish Earthquake, Earthshaker was that one. Birmingham, Shirker Motor, and Invisiglass. Oh, those are mods to do. Yeah, Invisiglass. I don't think I've done that with my Star Wars, and I think it's one of those where if you don't, if you don't notice it, maybe it's not worth it. All right, any news? about the leftover invoice from the Red Cross. I believe any invoices from the Red Cross event have already gone out and they're pretty much done. If you haven't gotten it by now, um, then I don't think they have any more. If you're on the list, the only one that I think 
might still have an issue is the Tron ones. If you won one of the Tron cabinets, I haven't heard yet if they invoice those final ones. So let me know if that one's that's the one that you're still hurting from. And I can follow up and see if they have anything about Trons. Oh, Papa Bad says the Rush Pinball is boring. Just your opinion. All right, that's okay. You like the band and the pinball, of course. All right, Earth Shaker, thank you. Been trying to figure out what it is for a while. All right, because uh, boring as hell. <laughs> All right, you guys just hate Rush the band. I liked it. I liked the game. All right, I would say, is it sad to say, and this is blasphemy, I liked Rush Pinball better than Jurassic Park. And like, I know people are saying Jurassic Park is supposed to be one of the greatest pinball missions of all time. But I just can't get into it. Like, I don't know if it's the shots, if I'm missing it. Like, I don't know. I just like, I don't know why Jurassic Park is hailed as one of the greatest. I'm like trying to get into it. The helicopter shot in the middle, trying to hit the thing in the middle, like the ramp shot to get to the to the T-Rex. I want to like it, but I can't. I don't know. It's weird. So who knows? All right. Did that Word Owl table came out yet? I haven't heard about Red Owl yet. Ruby Red Edition. Oh, Wizard of Oz Ruby Red Edition. You have even LE? That's nice. I've heard of the Wizard of Oz Edition uh, game being really fun to play. Uh, I really haven't played too many Jersey Jack pinball machines, too. I think I've been a stern fanboy for a while just because that's the one that I have. But I definitely got to check out Spooky and Jersey Jack pinball machines. So I think I played Dialed In at the Captain's Auctions Warehouse was the only version that I played and uh, of a Jersey Jack game. So I, I got to check out more of them for sure. If Star Wars VPX comes out, it's going to be the premium version. I think so, too. Yeah, I think that would be the one to make. All right. Console Kit says that Tron is $199 next month. If it is, that's a fantastic deal. Like any of these cabs, especially this one at $199, be amazing. Look how big this is. This is their tallest RK 1UP machine. It's so freaking good. And I modded it. <laughs> modded it right away. Sir Sega says, thanks for the tip, Kongs, on the All You Can Eat Gogi. Besides Van Nuys, have you been to the West Hills location? You're going to hit them up this week. I have not. I don't know if they have pinball at that location, the other one. Um, but I would be. I would go. I mean, the Korean barbecue is okay. It's not the best in the world. But the pinball is the real reason to go. Like, I, I, I was uh, working in the area. And then I was like, I have a free hour. I'm just going to go there and play pinball. So, like, anytime I'm in the valley, like, anytime I'm in the San Fernando Valley, I'm going to go hit up all-you-can-eat gogi. It's like it's like the best place to play Star and Pinball Machine. So the limited edition version is some of the newer ones. That's so super good. Super good. Super good. All right. You will be at TNT Amusements next week, and then you'll tell you how the new pins play. Can't wait, man. If you make your own content, Swole Dad Pitball, if you make a YouTube channel and you talk about pinball machines and some other stuff in your heel uh, kind of attitude, I think a lot of people will come and watch you, dude. So I think you have the chops to make a good content creator if you wanted to really do some stuff. So I would watch that. Deputy Van Halen says, do you think that RK went up will ever release that universal Back to the Future pin that they had the photos leaked? I don't think so. From what I've heard, you know, those were just kind of test models they're putting out to see if it would get picked up. And it probably would have gotten picked up, but there was probably some retailing or licensing issues with it. I don't even know the real story about what happened with that universal pinball, but that would have included, you know, the Back to the Future pinball machines. Um, I don't even know what else would have been on that table if that's universal. Um, maybe the Aliens games. Um but yeah, I, I don't know if Arcade Went Up is going to go back to doing pinball machines. And it's weird. I felt like, I don't know if they're still making versions of them, like just re-releasing or making new versions of their Star Wars Attack from Mars and um, Marvel pinball machines. But I was surprised that a year and a half later after pinball first came out, that they were still selling Star Wars pinball machines at Comic-Con. Like that was really a weird move in my opinion for like that they have that much in stock left over that they still needed to sell the Star Wars pinball machines that they sold out and they remade them. Like was the demand that high that they made so many Star Wars pinball machines and they had to sell them at that volume. Um, so it's just a weird move. So I don't know if they're going to go back to pinball anytime soon. Yeah, interesting weird move. So don't know about that. All right, let's see. If Tron drops to 199, I would buy another one if it went to 199. I don't know what I would mod it to, but I would buy one. All right, let's, uh, AI is out. You have to own a multimorphic system to play it. 
Okay. Is that one of the VPX tables? Got to check it out. They do. They have their pinball list online. Oh, okay. The other, uh, the West Hills one. I got to go check it out. Got to go check it out. Pitfall and pinball. You have a YouTube channel? All right. I got to go sub, man. I got to go check it out. <laughs> yeah. Put a, one, put a one in the chat if you want uh, Pitbull to do like live streams and shows. I would totally watch that. I think watching a Pitbull show would be fun. All right, Pitbull, I watched your show after seeing you last week, man. You're a riot, bro. That's right. Let us know. Let us know if you want to see. Put a one in the chat if you want to see this whole dad Pitbull do more live streams. I think you'd be awesome. You'd be like, you know how I have my shtick where I talk about arcade one ups and then my sleepy drunk wife, right there. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Would you watch a Swole Dad Pitball live stream? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I think so. I think you would watch you. I think I think people would watch. You'd have a fan base, dude. It would be fun. It'd be fun. Do it. It would be called. What are people are saying? Poop and shooting. Uh, with pull, with uh, with Pitbull. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look at this. We got a couple ones in the chat. Look up my name, Pitbull, for a home theater. You'll find me. All right, definitely will check you out, dude. All right, you'd love to hang out with him. Slightly nuts there. There it is. Yeah, check out the Swole Dad Pitbull, everybody. All right, we've been talking for an hour and 20 minutes. I really appreciate everybody here. Are you awake enough to come back and say goodbye to the peoples? Or no? I'm so full. You're so full? <laughs> she's like are you, are you okay are you sweaty are you yeah. good baby sweaty yeah all right, back down, I go. All right. <laughs> thank you all so much for being here tonight appreciate it we were eating snail noodles having a good time just chatting the chat uh we are gonna see next week the swole dad pitbull hosting his own live stream teaching how to pump iron play pinball machines crap on stuff and tell you like it is because that's what he does it's gonna be a fun time hope to see that show sometime soon check out endless one up what's going on everybody bob oif raf hollywood polo have a great week i appreciate everybody here thank you b you engage chat like no one else and it's been awesome appreciate that toodles and canada rocks rush is awesome that's the last thing we're gonna say right you know it <laughs> <laughs>